This time on Custom Works, we're gonna be making the actual mold for the back of the cab, and we're gonna be making the mold for the bonnet and the front fenders. So it's gonna be awesome, let's get to it. Okay, so we're, uh, we're just about to put a coat of uh, 2K top coat onto this to make it shiny, just so that the mold releases from it well. Um, what I've done, I've, uh, I've flattened it down with 320 on DA, um, and now I'm going to go on with the top coat. Give it a thorough tack ragging to get all the dust off it, and, uh, and it should come up nice and shiny, and we should have a, a great surface to take the mold from. All right, so the truck has been painted um, ready. This is, we've just painted this shiny just so that the, it will release nicely from the, uh, you know, the mold when we make the mold of this front end. This has come out like just super nice. Um, considering that this was just styrofoam and plastic, uh, you know, couldn't be happy with how this has come out. Um, I'm confident that once we've got, there's a few bits of, um, you know, it's a few bits of dust in it, but I'll DA them out with a bit of a 2000 grit. So then, um, this is the, uh, the back of the cab. Um, it almost seems unbelievable that um, none of this, none of this from the back of the doors is, uh, is even real car. It's just, um, it's just polystyrene, plaster and filler but we've painted it ready to take the mold. Now this is gonna be the largest part of the whole cab and we're gonna do this all in one. This will come off and this will be just one piece of fiberglass at the back, which will be uh, matte and resin bonded onto the uh, back of the front window pillars of the taxi. Uh, but this again, this, this has just come out so nice. You know, we've dropped the paint on it and it's good. I'm sure it's all just due to high build primer and a lot of flatting. All right, so we have, we've nipped this off, uh, got any little, you know, bits of uh, dust that are in the paint out and everything, and then we have waxed it. My God, we have waxed it. We have waxed and waxed. I think this has got like four layers of wax on it. So now what we're going to do is spray over with the blue mold release, the uh, PVA, I think it is, and then um, once that's dry, tomorrow, We'll be putting some, uh, we'll put some fiberglass on it and making the mould for the bonnet and the front fender. Once the uh, fiberglass mould had actually dried, what we did, we uh, fabricated a, um, a, like a wooden frame around it just to give it some more rigidity and so it didn't flex and so it kept the cool shape of the truck. So we're going to be using the engine hoist to remove the mould. God knows how this is going to go because like literally I've never done anything like this before. But we're going to try and tear that whole mould off with the engine hoist in one go. So with the, uh, the help of the engine hoist there, we've, uh, 
we've got one side off. As you can see, it's not like it, it you know, just all the all this junk has just popped off the car rather than all this junk pop off the mould. So there's more work to be done there. Um, and it, but if we look just here, you know, like um, archaeological sedimentary layers, you can see, look, here's a, so here's the, um, this is the fibreglass mould and there's a release coat and then here is foam and plaster and here's the original taxi bonnet. Some of this off is real graph, but check it out. Look at all of that that just popped out of there. This um, this blue rim lease mold stuff and the wax really, really helps. So we have uh, we laid up all the fiberglass for the back of the car yesterday for the back of the pickup um, cab, and uh, yeah, it's all looking good. It's all dried overnight. So first off, what we'll be doing is cutting the slot where the door goes, so we can remove this top section from the door. We'll be doing that both sides, and then we'll be removing this whole back of the cab, and then we'll have a mold, so we can make this back of the cab to convert an old taxi into a pickup truck over and over and over again. Okay, so once the fiberglass part is actually cleaned and you know we've we've took off all the sharp edges and everything, we're going to start preparing it to actually make a part of the truck. So that's going to include five coats of wax, some of this PVOH. We're going to spray that on. Then we'll go gel coat. Then we'll go the fiberglass. And hopefully, once all that's dried, we're going to have an actual component in the body of the truck at last. Break it out of the mold. You know what, I couldn't be happy with how this has come out. It just boom, straight out of the mold. Looks great. Okay, so that's all for this week. Remember, click subscribe, click the bell icon for regular updates. Also give us a big thumbs up and also follow me for sneak previews and like to the minute updates at Automatron4 on Instagram. Until then, see you all next week. Hey.